Well, um, I've been on this radio station now for just over 15 years. Never in that time have I been more angry, more emotional, and indeed more sad. Imagine a mother watching her child's life disappear, her education system destroyed, her possibility of future employment lessened. At night she hears her child cry in pain and there is no help. Uh, the children are dismissed as hysterical girls invariably. And then uh, the vaccine. The suggestion is, and I don't know, but I have to ask the question. There is a suggestion from these mothers, damaged as they watch their children, that there may be something to do with the HPV vaccine. Consequently, it has dropped to 50%. Now, the HSE, this huge organization of thousands of employees with budgets running into millions and billions are being apparently defeated by a bunch of Irish mothers so the vaccine has dropped. Am I happy that the vaccine take-up has dropped? No, I am not. But then I hear the failed chief executive of the failed HSE, Tony O'Brien, on the radio describe these mothers as emotional terrorists. How dare he? How absolutely dare dare he call mothers who care for their children, who watch them in agony and pain, how dare he call them terrorists? If we had a Minister of Health in Simon Harris who wasn't in political nappies and in a job way above his talents, if he had a, if he had a shred of courage, which the great party Fine Gael seemed singularly lacking in, O'Brien wouldn't have a job today. O'Brien would be sacked. He'd be taking his belongings home in a cardboard box for calling mothers of Ireland emotional terrorists. So if the HSE wants to get vaccination rates up, they, they give the people the right kind of information. Not smart, alecky scientists on radio programs. They answer people's queries and they put together something that helps people, for whatever reason, who are ill. I'm done.